you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl barbie stacks the big one not the little one if you are a turning subscriber welcome back baby if you are new here do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so today's video is going to be a stripper vlog y'all and today is friday july 14th y'all it is 10 04 y'all and i need to hurry up and hit the road so your girl can make this cheap tip off because you already know your girl don't play okay i just got done doing my hair y'all and doing my makeup i had to touch up my closure y'all last minute like do you not know how upset i was do you not know how upset i was y'all like literally i'm doing my makeup right beating my face beating my face to the goals right beating my face down <laughs> next thing you know my closure is five back y'all <laughs> I was so upset because I'm like trying to rush, trying to hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to hurry up and get on this road, okay? Because I think our tip I go up at like 12 o'clock. I pull up like last minute, like 11.45, 11.50, sometimes 11.55, okay? So your girl trying to hurry up, you know what I'm saying? Get my clothes together. And I'm up, want to slide back. I was just like, that is really crazy. That is really crazy. But I'm happy to slid back at the house and not at the club because I would have been too embarrassed, okay? <laughs> But your girl is ready to make some coins, y'all. We gonna bank for $1,500 tonight, y'all. I wish a girl a fat, crazy, stupid, freaking bag. A peaceful bag, okay? Don't forget a peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally, okay? Alright, so today's the next day, y'all, and your girl just woke up. That's why my voice is so raspy. Like, do y'all hear that? It sounds like it sound like I smoke a pack of cigarettes or something. But um, <laughs> this is why I don't work on Fridays at this club because Fridays be hit and misses. I feel like Fridays are always like a hit and miss, always a hit and miss. And sometimes I don't be having time for that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't be having time for the hit and misses. Like I need some guaranteed money. Like I don't need a possibility. And that's what Fridays always give. Like literally always give. Oh, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Before I forget, why was this man last night, right? He was very much giving stalker type of vibes, right? I'm sitting down, he come over there, and so he's smiling at me, like this big, creepy smile. Like, I'm talking about big, creepy smile, right? So I'm like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? You gonna give me some money? I'm aggravated at this point, so I'm trying to get straight to the point. So I'm like, what's up? Like, he goes to talking to me, like, oh yeah, I like you, da 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 How you like me? You don't even know me. You don't know me. Like, you've been, you, like, you've literally met me in the past two minutes and you like me? Like, you sound like you're in kindergarten. Like, what are you talking about for real? So he was just like, do you like me? And I said, no, sir, I don't even know you. Like, I mean, respectfully, like, I, I don't know you. So he proceeded on to tell me how he liked me because he liked my personality. He liked my vibe. He liked that I was pretty, da da da, and I was about my money. That's what everybody say about strippers. Like y'all have the same lines, literally. Okay, literally. Like I'm really good on you. Like please. And then he wanted to talk about how he was married. Then he got a divorce, and this and a third. And I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So I was just like, are you gonna buy me a drink? Like straight up to the point. You gonna buy me? You gonna spend some money? You gonna do something? He gonna talk about some. Oh, baby, I ain't no trick. Da, 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 da. I said, that's all I need to know. And I got up and I walked away. I had to waste my time. I'm already annoyed, okay? My face trying to tell me a whole life story and not spend no money. You're out of here. Cancel. Y'all, that freaking blew me last night. And this was a creepy part about the whole thing, y'all. After I walked away from him and when I said that's all I needed to know, I walked away and I had went to go talk to these other dudes that came in, y'all. And while he walked over there and stood on the side of me while I was talking to the other dudes. And I'm like this, what are you doing? Like, what are you, like, what are you doing for real what? He was just like, oh, I just don't like how you walked away from me. Okay, and? And I don't like how you didn't give me no money. So what about it? What? Oh, okay. Like, get away from me. I told him, I said, get away from me if I call security for they kick you out. You're sitting on the side of me and I'm talking to somebody else. Like, that's weird. Like, you feel me? I was just like, I don't know what's going on tonight, but y'all always. And I know you better get out of my face, okay? I know that. I know very much that, okay? You would have thought I would have gave him the goods the way he was acting. I was a little concerned, okay? <laughs> but y'all, this is what we made last night, y'all. So let's do this money count. Start off with the big bills first. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 80, 400, this is 500, 
20, 40, 60, 80. Last night we made $580 on a Friday, y'all. And honestly, I think this is actually pretty good compared to how the night actually went. Some girls didn't even make their tip out back, okay? And let me tell you, if I was one of them girls, I would've blew that club up off the ground. Like, y'all would've had me really messed up. Like, somebody was gonna give me something, okay? I don't care who it was, but somebody was gonna have to give me something, okay? What's up, you guys? So your girl just made it to work, y'all. And it's time to make this motherfucking money. Period. Yeah. yeah. The 10,000 building, get your ass an apartment, put you inside a G-Class. That's just a start. It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. The shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. What's up you guys? So today is Monday and it's the next day and I know I did not show y'all a money count from when I went to work a Saturday night y'all but I'm gonna definitely show y'all that money count tomorrow when your girl gets to the house but right now I am so pissed off y'all like I am so pissed off and I just need a vent like I really just need to get this off my chest because I'm so freaking annoyed. So today I had a last appointment for 12 o'clock right? And originally my appointment was for Sunday, which was yesterday. Yesterday the girl texted me and she's like, oh, I noticed that you booked a Sunday appointment and you didn't pay the Sunday fee. Do you just want to come tomorrow, which is today, right? So I told her how much is the fee and I didn't even know there was a Sunday fee. My whole thing is, why would you have a day for people to book if you know that's not the day that you usually work? Obviously you don't be want to work on Sundays if you're charging to come into work on Sundays. So why would you make even make that available on your website? So I was like, you know what, cool. You saying basically tomorrow would be a better day for you. And I don't have to pay the Sunday fee, which is however much, because she never answered my question. So, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I'll just come tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, which is today, right? And my appointment was at 12, y'all. And the lady literally texted me 10 minutes before my appointment and told me, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it. My boyfriend had a blowout. I refunded your money already. So I'm sitting here like, what? Like, what? How do you tell somebody 10 minutes before their appointment that they're not going to be able to make it because, quote unquote, your boyfriend had a blowout? This thing is crazy. Like, these new entrepreneurs these days, like, they really don't want no money for real. Like, that's facts. Like, y'all really don't want no money for real. Mind you, I was calling her phone trying to ask her, okay, well, can I come later? I understand that you won't be able to make it right now, but can I come later? You feel what I'm saying? It's only 12 o'clock. It's not like it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, going on 7 o'clock. It's, it's only 12 o'clock. We still have, like, a good five, six hours to the sun go down like so i'm trying to work something out for the both of us so it's annoying me for the fact that i'm sitting here calling your phone trying to work something out with you and you can't even answer the phone but you can text me though you feel me but you're texting me but you can't even answer the phone and what made me call her is for the fact that she's not even answering my question y'all know the people that go around your question because they really don't want to answer that question that's what she's doing she's going around my question when you're laid up under your boyfriend and you don't even want to come to work these new entrepreneurs really be sending me y'all like honestly really be sending me like y'all really don't want no money for real and it shows like my whole thing is when it comes to my money my money always come first i don't care if my boyfriend girlfriend whoever the hell it is had a blowout and i'm in the car with them okay that's you i'm going to work I got money waiting on me. You feel what I'm saying? I'm saying when it comes to making your bread, I feel like your bread should always come first. Everything comes afterwards. It's so unprofessional, y'all. And I'm so freaking annoyed. And I'm trying to like try not to be that girl. Y'all know what girl I'm talking about. That girl that go to hell off. That girl that go on social media and tell people to not to book with them because they're unprofessional as hell. I'm trying not to be that girl, but look you really playing with me at this point. You're really playing with me. You playing with my time and you playing with my money. And them two things I do not play about. Y'all, I'm so freaking annoyed. Like, that really sent me through the roof. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But I just ended up booking me another appointment with somebody else for tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So it's all good, though, because things happen for a reason. I'm not even gonna trip over it. It is what it is. And that is crazy because they always be like, oh, support black businesses, support black businesses. Like, I'm a black woman myself. I don't have no problem supporting my own people. But, like, look at what y'all doing. Look at how y'all treat y'all people. Like, y'all make it seem like, our customers, y'all clients don't mean nothing to y'all. It's really how y'all treat us. Like, I feel like if you want a returning client or returning customer, however, whatever it is, I feel like you should always put them first and everything last. You're wrong. I'm not saying forget about yourself. I'm not saying forget about what you got going on your whole life. But during business hours, if a person booked with you, mind you, hours that you had available, that you said that you can work. I feel like you should work around that. You feel me? Like, work around that to try to make things happen for your client. Cause I, but I did book me an appointment tomorrow, y'all, to get my lashes done. Because I'm not about to sit up here and be pissed off and not get my lashes done because you're unprofessional. I'm not going to do that. My last appointment is tomorrow, y'all, at 2 o'clock. So, let's see how that plays out, y'all. <laughs> let's see. Beautiful girl, you're still
What's we guys? So today's the next day, y'all. And your girl had got her lashes done yesterday. And I'm just so freaking happy that Shoulda came through for your girl. Cause you already know, oh girl was tripping, okay? Oh girl was tripping. And she was really on the ones and the twos, okay? Didn't want to answer my phone call or nothing. I was like, you know what? Bet that up. But your girl came through for me, y'all, and did my lashes. <laughs> I think they so freaking cute, y'all. So freaking natural. So I wanted to go for like an everyday look, but still serving at the same time. Period. <laughs> First of all, don't talk about my pimple, okay? <laughs> y'all already know I'ma point something out before y'all do it. Before y'all be like, girl, da da da. Look, I'ma be like, don't talk about my pimple, don't talk about my hair, don't talk about my don't talk about my pimple, okay? Your girl's breaking out really, really bad, okay? And my period just went on, so please, okay? <laughs> But y'all, let me do this money count for y'all from uh, Saturday night. So this is what I had made Saturday night, y'all. One, two, three, four, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-nine, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a thousand. So last night we made a thousand dollars. Well, not last night. Saturday night we made a thousand dollars on a Saturday, y'all which is not bad, but Saturday definitely was not a bad night, y'all. Honestly, have nothing bad to say about Saturday, like absolutely nothing. Oh, let me tell y'all something right quick, right quick. Y'all remember that dude that I was telling y'all about earlier in the vlog that I said was following me around the club being weird? Y'all, why he had came to the club again Saturday, y'all? He came back to the club Saturday. So, so y'all, I'm on the stage, right? And I'm dancing, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting to the coin, getting to the bag. Next thing I know, he walked to the stage, y'all, and he started throwing money on me. And I'm just like, what? Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, he threw me for a loop because it's kind of like the other day you just got done saying how you wasn't a trick. You feel me? But you very much tricking today. Like, it's I'm confused. Like, was you just trying to see how far I was going to go? Because I ain't going to lie. Some men will do that. Some men will test you and see how far you'll let them go. And I feel like that's what he was doing. Because Friday night, you just got done saying how you wasn't a trick. But Saturday, you being a trick? Like, what happened between 24 hours? Like, you wasn't a trick Friday, but you a trick today. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I say, y'all, y'all really got to stand on business. When it comes to these men, y'all really have to stand on business and mean what y'all say and say what y'all mean. Like, no, I'm not going for that no is you spending money oh you not all right so get on my face you feel what i'm saying and stay on that because at the end of the day men are dogs like let's be real like i'm not gonna say all men i'm let me not say all men not all men are dogs but a majority of them are dogs and they only want one thing so my whole thing is if it's no problem for you to ask for something why is it a problem for me to ask for something dudes want to be like oh yeah that can i take you home da 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 and this that and the third you feel what i'm saying but then when you say empty your pockets Spend some bread. They're like, oh, I ain't no trick. All right, so what, what are we talking about? I just found it real funny how he came back to the club and he started spending money. Don't get me wrong. He ain't spend that much money. He only threw probably about $20, 30 That was it. Okay, because was, he was very much giving broke. It's a principle. Like, don't sit up here and say, oh, I'm not a trick. Da, 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 because you want me to just be like, oh, okay, and just settle. Like, I'm not settling. First of all, I don't even know you. Okay? And second of all, this is my job. Like, I feel like dudes be forgetting that. Like, this is our job. This is our job. Our job is to sell you a fantasy. Our job is to make you believe whatever the hell you want to believe so we can get your money. That's literally our job. We don't want to go home with y'all. We do not want to. Let me say this again. Okay? <laughs> Let me say this again for the mothers in a back. We do not want to go home with y'all. Okay? And 99.9% .9 of us are in relationships. Like, we already got some somebody okay i don't know what these men be thinking like they really be out of their mind out of their body but like we do not want y'all like i'm here to tell you i'm here to speak for the whole stripper community we do not want y'all at all okay we're there to do our job and then we want to go home like, so y'all lately your girl kind of just been stressed out a little bit take the back hammock is on the way ah! Yes, honey. Sorry, y'all, but um, <laughs> see your girl just been going through it. Ugh, I've been going through it, y'all. Like, <laughs> at the end of this year, I'm moving, right? And the way I'm moving to is so many cities, so many houses, so many apartments, so many everything, okay? And I just feel like my next move have to be my best move. Like, the way I move to next have to just be perfect because I plan on being there for a while. And when I say a while, I don't mean like 10, 20 years. I mean, at least three years two to three years i plan on being there so it's like my next move have to be my best move y'all so freaking hard apartment shopping i'm pretty sure y'all know because i mean at this age we all should know 
know how it feels the apartment shop but y'all like it's so hard to find the perfect apartment like the perfect apartment perfect home and nowadays these apartments are ranging for the same amount as these houses nowadays it's kind of like i'm stuck in the sense where it's like do i just want to get a house you feel what i'm saying or do i want to get an apartment so it's kind of like i want to get an apartment because it's smaller obviously and it's easier to maintain but then again, it's like if I'm paying for an apartment, which is the same amount as a house, and I'm going to get more space for a house, I might as well just get a house. You feel me? Like, these houses are really up there nowadays. Like, I remember when apartments was like $500, y'all. <laughs> $500, like five, six, you know what I'm saying? $100. Like, these apartments nowadays is really $2,025. Uh, y'all, I even seen an apartment out there where I'm moving to for $10,000. Who in the hell okay who in their right mind is gonna pay ten thousand dollars for an apartment i wish the hell i would that's it that's insane to me insane not even a loft y'all not even a loft an apartment hear what i'm saying an apartment like i wish i would pay ten thousand dollars for an apartment i'm not absolutely not and then on top of that i need to find me some clubs to work out there don't get me wrong they got a lot of clubs out there so i'm just excited like this next move is gonna be my best move it's gonna be a great move and the greatest move i ever made y'all plan on going out there doing some apartment searching so y'all let me know in the comment section below if that's something that y'all want to see. And I'm also searching for clubs and stuff to work at when I move out there. And the only thing about where I'm moving is we have to have license to work out there. So it's kind of like, ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the annoying part. And that's the only thing annoying because, y'all, I hate license. Like, I just like working at clubs that you don't need license to. You just pull up like, yeah, I'm ready to work. But in this state that I'm moving to, you are required to have a license to dance. So I also need to go out there and get my dance license. But I think I'm going to do that later on in the year before I move just to make sure, you know, everything's secure before I get my spot and stuff because the license is only like $200. I'd rather spend $200 on a license and then you know what I'm saying things don't work out versus getting a place which is two thousand dollars and then I can't work out there like I would be pissed off okay and I also might just do like a whole vlog dedicated to just those clubs I don't know y'all my mind just been everywhere lately I'm just trying to get it together okay because it's just a lot on my plate so y'all just let me know if that's anything that y'all interested in y'all let me know in the comment section below if y'all interested in seeing any of those uh, of those things and i'll definitely make them vlogs for y'all it's definitely about that time that i start back moving around y'all i feel like i haven't done a travel vlog in so many months y'all going to a new city and dancing i feel like i haven't done that in a while so this is y'all time now okay this is y'all time now Come in the comment section below and let me know which city i should travel to if it's a city that y'all want to dance at yourselves but possibly don't have enough money to get there or possibly just don't have the opportunity to get there right now comment in the comment section below and let me know what clubs i should try out y'all i'm about to start back traveling y'all because ain't nothing better than that traveling money you know what i'm saying ain't nothing better than that traveling money that money that travel money be coming through i ain't gonna lie to say okay but this is gonna conclude the video y'all i love you guys so freaking much and let me just say thank you guys so freaking much y'all been following y'all been liking y'all been watching my videos y'all been showing the hell out like real <laughs> like real talk like i just want to say thank you guys so much we're almost at 8,000 subscribers y'all and what comes after eight <laughs> ten okay ten so y'all just want to say thank you guys so freaking much y'all we are almost at eight thousand subscribers y'all and the goal is to be at 10k before the year ends out and y'all we're almost there like, the year is only halfway out y'all so i say thank you guys so much for subscribing liking comment watching my videos even to even down to the people my instagram and dm me and send me sweet messages y'all y'all are literally the sweetest y'all y'all be having a whole lot of you guys come to my instagram and telling me how much my videos mean to them or how much they appreciate my videos because it helps them out like through anxiety or it pushes them motivates them or however whatever way I feel like when y'all come to me y'all tell me sweet things like that it make me feel good because it makes me feel like i'm doing something good for the community i'm the type of person i love to help like definitely a helping hand type of person so anytime someone comes up to me and they be like oh you're so helpful you know what i'm saying you help me do this you help me do that or you motivated me to do this or you pushed me to do that it makes me feel really good so i appreciate all y'all message i don't want y'all to everything anything y'all say do goes unnoticed because i see it all I try to make sure i get to everybody in comment sections because i don't want anybody to feel left out i don't want anybody to feel like they're not important or what they say is going unnoticed because everything y'all say and do little do y'all know i see it all okay even if i can't get to all y'all in the comment section below i try to make sure i get to at least 90 percent of y'all okay so i just want to say thank you guys so freaking much i love you guys so 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 much i love you guys and this is gonna conclude the video and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>